Hi, I am Dora, and this is Stella, who showed up in our street about two and a half years ago. She was very, very scared of people. We fed her, the neighbors fed her, but she would not come to us. This lasted for about one year. Then one day I noticed she was pregnant. She still did not come. One day I saw her across the street. I went over there to talk to her, and to my surprise, she lay down on her stomach and crawled to me. She lay down on my feet. I was now able to pick her up and carry her into the house. She gave birth the same night to four beautiful little pups. I immediately put an email out and I was contacted by Sharon Randall, who was looking for a new therapy dog. She picked Angel, our adorable little one. Hi, I'm Sharon Randall. This is my husband, Roger Randall. Uh, this is our little dog, Angel, and our other dog, Buddy. How we got Angel was uh, I got a phone call from a lady at Henry Mayo in the volunteer office. Her name's Maria. And she said there was a lovely lady named Dora that had rescued a little chihuahua mix, and the little dog had four puppies the very next day and Dora had not raised puppies before. So I called Dora and asked if I could come over and uh, we started coming over every Friday from the time the puppies were a week old. And we helped with warming and doing their shots. And this little one uh, was the runt of the litter and she uh, kind of caught my eye, mostly because of her temperament. She's just always been very mellow uh, very sweet, and I thought this could make a really great little therapy dog. Um, I've been doing the therapy work for about nine years, and after I had done it, uh, maybe four or five, um, I thought I'm going to look into being an evaluator because I really do love all breeds of dogs. And I thought, how fun would that be to be the one who actually tested the handler and the dog? Uh, I get to meet a lot of different breeds and people. On the evaluation, the first part of the test is very similar to a canine good citizen. It's obedience, it's sit, down, stay, come, uh, meeting a friendly stranger. The second part of the test is called an aptitude test. And the idea of the test is to put the dog through kind of um, different stresses and the stress sort of builds as the test continues. And it's things that they're gonna come in contact during your visiting. A well put together test because everything on it I have experienced. Hi, I'm Linda. Hi, I'm Sharon, this is Angel. I would shake your hand, but I'm holding Angel okay. here. Hi, Angel. May I pet Angel? Oh, please. She likes it. Oh, good girl. Very clean, and she enjoys brushing. Good girl. Front seat. This one is going to be out for a walk. Okay. So Sharon's going to start here. She's going to put Angel on the floor for the walk. Even though it's a small dog, she's going to go in an L shape this way and left, and then come back. I'm going to tell her to stop in a certain place and then come on back. We want to see a loose lead at all times. Okay, Angel. Slowly. Should we go for a walk? Come on, let's go. You ready? Then get your leash out of the way. Get your hair all in order. All right, come on. Let's go for a walk. Here we go. Come on back. All right, come on, let's go. Here we go. Good job. And the next one is going to be walking through a crowd and Sharon's going to hold me. Oh, okay. Because, uh, she's a small dog, she's a carry dog. We're going to have people walking around as if um, she was a logo facility. And people. people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get your nose going. You see if we can smell. Smell cookies. Do they? We get some noise distraction. And an oh, we're going to have some noise. And, uh, oh, boy. For Wait. Oh, that was quick noise. Huh. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at that poor woman with the crutch. Oh, what a shame. All right. Let me pick you up. Okay. Oh, hi, 
Hey, this is Angel. Would you like to hold my little therapy dog? Oh, thank you for petting. All right, I'm going to move her over to our next. But would you like to hold Angel? Okay, let me put her right here. Oh, that feels good. Sandy knows how to rub, doesn't she? Oh, boy. Don't fall asleep. The next exercise is putting in place of one lead on, putting the 10 foot lead on, and taking her leash off. Okay. And she's going to put Angel on a stay. Angel, come. Can you drag that leash over here to me? Bring that big leash. Good girl. Take your time. We have all time. Good girl. That's a good girl. And this exercise, we're going to be stranger. I'm the stranger, and I'm going to come up to Sharon, and I'm going to meet her and introduce ourselves, and then I'm going to ask if I can pet her dog and see how the dog reacts to a stranger. May I pet Angel? Oh, yes, please. She likes that. Oh, good girl. See how Angel uh, reacts to a stranger here. Good girl. The test is to make sure that the dogs can work independently and that they don't go to each other. The dogs cannot play and they have to understand that. Exercise, we're going to see how Angel takes a, a treat gently from my hand. She was very happy with that and was very gentle. I am Michael Savola. This is my dog, Blondie. Blondie is a seven-year-old Shetland Sheepdog. This is her sixth year as a therapy animal. She goes to hospitals, nursing homes, also right here at the community center. And we go to a couple of different schools. We go to a high school and we go to a junior high school. And they're primarily for special ed kids. And uh, they interact with the children. This is Biscuit. Biscuit is small. Biscuit is yellow. Biscuit and Puddles wants to roll in the flower bed. Okay, continue. Time for bed, Biscuit. Sam, I am. You see me. That's Sam, I am. I do not like it. Would you put in the I'm Mike Doherty. I'm the Community Relations Representative for the Behavioral Health Unit here at Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital. You know, the therapy dogs are scheduled to come into our unit at least once a month, and I have to tell you that they are one of the most interesting and respectful groups that we've ever had in our unit. The patients look so forward to seeing the dogs, and it's amazing what happens when they come in, because literally, we have patients who sometimes just won't speak to anyone, but they always respond to the therapy dogs. Uh, one of the ladies that has a therapy dog was telling me the story of a, of a very large dog that they used to bring in who was very, very popular. And one day, he literally went around the semicircle of patients and greeted each one. But one of the men wouldn't look up. He just sat there with his head down. Barkley, is the name of the dog, walked away, turned around, looked at him again, walked up to the man, and started nudging his hand with his face to get the man to pet him. The man looked up, started petting Barkley, and in a few moments, the man was talking to the dog. And again, our staff was surprised because that man had not spoken to anyone since he'd been there, but he was certainly responsive to the therapy dogs. It's a great program, a marvelous program, and one we really appreciate.
this is summer. Summer's been doing this therapy stuff for a little over 12 years. She's a rescue from Cass State Animal Shelter. Summer said. She's uh, going to be 14 in April. She's been doing this, well, actually, we've been doing this for a little over 12 years. We used to do it and put it on her nose, and she'd stay on the cross side that had it. And uh, they had the uh, dogs up there for the first time. And they even had a little, uh, they have a therapy pony up there, too. Oh, wow. A pony? Yeah, just about. I'm Maria Strumchek. I'm Director of Volunteers here at Henry Mayo Hospital. Um, I've actually started the program along with our former Director of Physical Therapy about 15 years ago, which was our pet therapy program. We brought it in because we realized the importance of pet therapy as an alternative to people who are in hospitals who need some comfort. Right now we have about 11 dogs and handlers, volunteer handlers, who come in on a regular basis to visit our patients upon request. A situation last month whereby a child was in the emergency room, they were trying to do some procedure to the child and the child wouldn't stop crying. Um, Sharon Rendell, one of our volunteers, went in there with Angel. She um, put the angel by the child and the child totally quieted down within minutes. In fact, we got a write-up from one of the nurses because they were so impressed at how easy it was to take care of that child afterwards. Claudia Vito and I'm the administrative assistant uh, for the outpatient rehabilitation program here at Henry Mayo New Home Memorial Hospital. And I wanted to share uh, the experience I had here uh, on the floor with this beautiful, wonderful dogs and the people that are involved in this program. Um, I visit the patients occasionally. I see them on the hallways and experience the happiness uh, that they bring to the patients. Sometimes unexpected experiences. Uh, sometimes you don't know you're touching somebody's heart when they see these animals. Uh, but it's always an exceptional um, situation where uh, it doesn't matter how sad or how painful their um, situation is at the moment. Um, they always get a smile. You get the patients happy, and that's healing. Hi, would you like a visit with the therapy dog? Okay, this is little Angel. May I lay her on your bed? Uh, yes. Okay, anything to hurt? Um, Okay, we'll be very careful. Here, Angel, can you come see our friend? Oh, that's so nice. She is soft, huh? Do you have any pets? Oh, just my dog. Yeah. Well, Angel's just a, a young dog. She's only a year and ten months. And she's been doing this for nine months. And she really likes to come visit patients. Can you say hi, Angel? Huh? Oh, and she likes to go upside down when you rub her. Yeah, sometimes she does her upside down. Should we give her one of your pictures? Oh, you're going to cuddle here. That's your upside down. She says, yep, I just go upside down and cuddle right with the patients. She says, oh, you can rub my tummy. It's all good. I like it. Here, silly girl. Angel, do you want to show her your trick? Here, we'll give her your card. There's your little card, see? It looks just like you. We'll give her that so she can tell her friends. All right, let me see if I have a cookie. She likes cookies. Oh, yeah, we know about cookies. All right, can you give me your sneeze? Give me your sneeze. Give me a sneeze. You want this cookie? Can you sneeze for me? Okay, that took a while, huh? The dog? All right, let me give you a little hand cleaner. Oop, that cookie was a little dry, huh? There you go. You can just rub it. You're welcome. Thank you for listening. Oh, you're welcome. All right, you ready to go visit some more patients? Okay, good girl. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm with uh, Patient Relations in the volunteer office. And I come on Fridays and 
just love it when we see the pet therapy dogs and how they interact with the patients. And um, often I get a request from patients to see the dogs because they miss their own dogs and they're here in the hospital and they just want that comfort from having the dog visit them. And uh, the smiles that I think it brings to the patient's faces, it just, it warms my heart and I know it makes the dogs feel great, the patients feel great, and it's a wonderful program that Henry Mayo offers. Hi, my name is Bev and I'm a volunteer with Patient Relations here at Henry Mayo and I do have a chance to witness all of the doggies that come and visit the patients and they just, the doggies seem to love it and the patients seem to love it. I, they are actually allowed to get up on the bed and everything and it really cheers up their day. Okay, today Stella's going to meet a little bit of what the process is. Okay, here is little Angel. That's your mommy. Go see your mommy. Go see your mommy. Is that your mama? Is that that's your mama? That's your baby, Stella. Oh, Angel, that's your mama. Two years. Hi, Cookie. 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 Come on, Cookie. Sit. Can you turn? Oh, yeah. 